you're watching NBC 26 News at 11. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Ashley Campbell. We kick off things with our decision 2014 coverage with the publisher of the Metro Courier speaking out about the coverage of this year's mayoral race. Barbara Gordon says that the media was over the top with its coverage of Helen Blocker Adams financial past. Blocker Adams suspended her campaign Thursday after a report surfaced that she has some personal financial issues. Gordon says even though she believes the mayoral candidate was wrong for her withholding her money problems, she does feel the local media reported it too much. This press conference is not. If you voted for Helen Blocker Adams, your vote still counts. In fact, the Board of Elections says it's business as usual because she has not officially filed with the board. All of her votes will count and she will remain on the ballot. Should she officially withdraw, notices will go up at precincts alerting people and early votes for her will not be counted. Other candidates vying to become the next mayor, Hardy Davis, Alvin Mason, Charles Cummings, and Dr. Lori Miles. And we won't just have a new mayor come Tuesday. Augusta's commission could get as many as four new faces as well. District 2 is between Cleveland Garrison and Dennis Williams. Current District 10 Commissioner Grady Smith facing a challenge from Brandon Dial. District 4 has four people in its race. Melvin Ivey, Thomasina Jackson, Sammy Sias, and Gwen Watts. It's a crowded field for District 6 as well, Bob Finnegan, Roger Garvin, Angela Hardin, and Ben Hassan. Now, candidates must have more than 50% of the vote on Tuesday to win or move on to a July runoff. The American Red Cross needs your help. The Aiken chapter of the nonprofit is wrapping up its fiscal year, and they say they're still in need of funds and only have a month left before their spring campaign ends. NBC 26's Elizabeth Hughes has more on how you can help. The Aiken chapter of American the Red Cross is encouraging all young golfers, no matter their skill level, to participate in the Memorial Day Gold event. That's free of charge, and you can go to our website, NBC26, for more information on that. As the population grows in Columbia County, so do the groups of cyclists who bike along those roads. With the busy roads and intersections, many people are finding it difficult to enjoy a ride without the worry of getting hit. Even with pedestrian laws in place, bicyclists still fear what could happen on the roads, and many riders believe more should be done to protect them while they're riding. They're doing a lot of road building now in Columbia County. Columbia County officials say they are working to add separate bike lanes to roads all over the county, and they're also planning to create permits for group bike races similar to the ones in place for foot races. And speaking of bikes, the rainy cool weather didn't stop hundreds of bike riders from showing up to the 22nd annual Lock to Lock ride. More than 200 came out to the Savannah Rapids Pavilion for a bike ride along the scenic Augusta Canal area. Riders came in groups with friends and family to enjoy the trails. Riders could bike up to 37 miles on the route at their own pace. Bike ride that we feel is. All of the proceeds from the ride go back to the community to help cycling improvement efforts. And we do have a couple of lane closures to tell you about as you plan your commute this week. I-520 East and West will have a single lane closed from miles 3 to 6. That's from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. And Wrightsboro Road will have a single lane closed from Jimmy Dias Parkway to Bobby Jones. That's from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. So be sure to use caution in those areas. Your tweet. I know it's coming with a vengeance, huh? It sure is. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. All right. Thanks, Rich. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of fun at Lake Olmstead Stadium today for Bark in the Park. Take a look. Dozens of people brought their four legged friends for a day of baseball as the Green Jackets played against the Greensboro Grasshoppers. NBC 26, of course, a proud sponsor of that event. Look at them. They're so cute. They're taking in all the action there. Final score Greensboro beats Green Jackets 2 to 0. Well, coming up next, this Tuesday is the most important primary day for this year's midterm elections, but there's big buzz already regarding 2016 and one candidate who might or might not be running for the White House. We'll explain when we come back.